Okay, so I've done a full body cleanse on both of them. Space is sterile. Did you get blood samples for Kensington's research project? Mm-hmm. Nice work, Dr. Wakefield. So another drone? Yeah, they dropped a nerve agent on their apartment block. A woman was coming home from the shops. The boy was playing with a soccer ball. What, you mean uh, a football? Hi, I'm Amy. You're... Crandall. Pleasure to meet you, Donald. Are you going to hurt me? I'm Team Doctor. You got injured, but I'll have you back playing football very soon. Reese, I need to administer atropine. Yeah, I, I didn't get a chance to restart the vials. Supply tent now. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Atropine injections worked on everyone I treated in Syria. Okay? Okay. Hey, hey. All right. All right. What's your name? Dima. We're not safe here. The Supreme Leader ordered this attack. We're here to help you. He's trying to kill us. Both of us will stand against him. Oh. Tell me. Will this kind of ruin my life? Tosa. We're treating you early, so you've got a great chance of survival. I listen to liars every day. You are not a good one. Please breathe. Look at me. Breathe. Look at me. I need... I need to save my baby. The supply tent's been depleted. There's only one fire left. What are you gonna do? Make a decision. Dima, give me your arm. Dima, please. You have to trust me. Okay, this will save you and your baby. You are with the Supreme Leader. You want to kill my baby? Reese, how do I save them? Reese. stand on the precipice of history. I'm Dr. Amy Tennant, and I'm here on behalf of the visionary Natalie Kensington to inform you how your investments have made that possible. Firstly, we've been using your billions for the greater good. The Kensington Corporation's relationship with Kindar has flourished since the resolution of its civil war. Our teams have been working on development projects with some of the country's top scientists. Natalie has even developed an internship program for some of the country's brightest young minds. In fact, some of our Kindarian interns are here with us today. Oh, hey. Is Kindar still a totalitarian state? Human rights violations and all that shit? Kindar is at peace. Moving on. 
The Kensington Corporation is dedicated to bringing hope and new technology to It's bad PR for us to associate with Kensington if she's dealing with a dictator. We're all here to discuss the amazing- Answer my fucking question. Why has Natalie sent a nurse to tell us anything anyhow? Actually, I'm a doctor. You know who I am, right? May I ask you to leave the boardroom, please, sir? Fuck it. I'm pulling my funding. It's always a bit of a risk serving free champagne. <laughs> real reason you're here. The Kensington Complex. Our impenetrable HQ of laboratories built bespoke to Natalie's specifications by the world-renowned Parker Kaplani. Deep within the complex is Security Lab Alpha, a womb of scientific advancement. There, we have something remarkable in development. I'm sure all of your news feeds have told you that Gordon Grosvenor's expedition to Mars is becoming a reality. Yes, the first person to set foot on Mars will be British if we can hurdle this final obstacle together. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? <sighs> yeah, rough night. Don't do drugs, Kay. We can't fit a hospital on a 10-ton Mars lander. How do we get around this? Nanocells. Stem cells interwoven with nanotech. Once inside a host, they migrate to the site of injury. There, they regrow bone and generate extra blood to help catalyze the healing process. Tiny magic bullets. <laughs> What's your problem? <sighs> this is, of course, just a mock-up. The real nanocells are still in development and securely back at the complex, but once they're ready, we can begin regulated human trials. Having treated victims of chemical attacks all over the world, I know that nanocells could be miracle tech. Amy, you need it urgently. Hang on. I have some serious concerns about this. Likewise. Before my employer invests any more capital, she wants some answers. Amy, I really can't wait. We need to get you to the car now. It's an emergency. I have to go, but please stay and enjoy the wonderful hospitality. Let's go, Amy. We need to get you on the scene immediately. The scene? What happened? It's already gone viral. I'm ruling out food poisoning. She has other alarming symptoms, we've been told. Naturally, everyone's crying terrorism. A suicide bomber with a malfunctioning bioweapon? We need to get her to the complex. Okay, why is this our problem? Because she's one of our interns. Thank God you're here. This is beyond our remit. Oh. Excellent quarantine work. I'll examine her back at the complex. Yeah, we were waiting on your word before moving her. Uh, a single person drone or ground ambulance. The drone will get her there faster. But it's more dangerous. If it crashes then whatever's inside of it gets out into the public. It won't crash, it's Kensington Tech. Use the drone, Amy. Ground. 
I want eyes on her. This is a mistake. Trust me, I've dealt with this type of madness before. Renegade. The prospect of losing a friend in a strange country. I can empathise with that. Today we need all your field experience, Amy. Time to roll back the ears. Mm -hmm. You can say that again. You've got to be kidding me. Nah. It's been a while, Dr Whitfield. You got here fast. Well, there weren't any blood vomiting ladies on my tube line. Reese Whitefield. Hug. Let's walk and talk. So, which legend fed the media the anthrax rumour? I need to take this. Was it her? So, do we have a name yet? Claire Mahek, she's one of us. Inside job? No, she must be acting alone. Why else would she take the tube? Well, Uber doesn't offer a getaway car service yet, so... Look, have we considered the hysteria might actually be valid? What, terrorism? I highly doubt it. Perceptive as ever. Hey, Amy, look. I promise. I didn't know you still worked here. If I did, I would have... Stayed away? Yeah, I'm sure. <sighs> Look. Why are you skydiving? Or bungee jumping? Or whatever it is that you were up to? Because I'm passing through London. I checked my Twitter feed this morning, saw something I could help with. Plus, Kensington wants my expertise again. Well, she already has my expertise. I'm not disputing that, nor am I apologising for the skydiving. Guy's gotta live. And then if you could come back and let me know your decisions. Okay, thank you. You didn't want to run this by me? Two lifesavers are better than one. Reese Wakefield is a deserter. I know he's let us down in the past, but people change. Emily did due diligence too. Come on. Hey, uh, guys, can I just, uh, have five minutes? Just, uh, just need to use the gents. Can we go, please? Nat, I need to take five as well. A girl's life hangs in the balance. Oh, for goodness sake. Assistance down in security lab, Alpha. You should see the other guy. Security lab, Alpha. Nan, is this my tech? Yes. 
now. I mean, nothing leaves or enters the lab without us knowing about it. Emily and I will get to the bottom of that. You just get the nanocells, otherwise our life's work's gone. All of the nanocells are inside of her? It, it was a master batch. No duplicates were made. Good luck. Woo! Oh my god, you guys are serious about your fashion. Yeah, no more frumpy hazmat suits. Pressure suits. You'll see. All right. Does this feel personal? Claire? Of course. Well, she was in excruciating pain and she stumbled all the way to the tube station. Feels more emotional than just following orders. space. Vacuum conditions active. Something like that. Echo! This vacuum acts as the last line of defense to prevent microbes from escaping the lab. The lack of air makes it sterile as hell. Well, that's great on a microscopic level, but it could do with some physical... Barriers. How long have you worked here again? Four years last Wednesday. Yeah, it's been that long. Just thinking about some of the stuff we saw. I saw a whole other year's worth after you left. It wasn't just skydiving. I needed a reset. Try new things. Learn anything that could help us today? Hope not. I could kill for a cigarette. Do you still smoke? No. I kicked all my bad habits. Vacuum conditions inactive. Dr. Thomas Malkin, Dr. Everly North. This is Dr. Reese Wakefield. He'll be assisting us today. Cool pony, sir. Let me take you to her. <sighs> Feels like we're at the center of those dolls that go inside each other. Matryoshka dolls. Yeah. Russian, aren't they? <laughs> so what's your story then, Malkin? I've wanted to assist Dr. Tennant since I saw a talk at the Plains Summit about the extracellular matrix and lattice in stem cells. Yeah. Holy shit! It's attacking the bone structure. We've never seen anything like it. I have a sample of her blood under the microscope. The nanocells are inside her. But they're unfinished. There's no off switch, so they're just coursing through her body, producing excess bone and blood. But how could she have contracted them? From a spillage, maybe. 
They barely survive for two minutes once they're exposed to air, and she didn't have the authorization to access them. Someone's put them in her. No, 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 no. leave it in, Claire. You need it. Mm, feels fucking weird. You a terrorist? It'd be a terrible one if I was. I did this for Nina. What for Nina? Terrorist organization. Oh, you stop that, please. Look, how many times have we seen lone wolf release pathogens into the air? Nanosols aren't airborne. They can only be transferred via blood to blood contact. Answer call. Bioterrorism suspect named as Claire Mahek, a Kendarian intern at Kensington. TV off. Tell me you can retrieve our nanocells. Not directly. We'd need to extract a large blood sample to keep them active. From there, I'll use that as a roadmap to recreate the master batch. Seems simple enough. She has plenty of blood to spare. Not exactly. Her new bone matter is consuming her body's resources at an accelerated rate. If I remove that much blood in one go, she'll die. And if she dies before you extract her blood? Without a living host, the nanocells will just dissipate. Au revoir, nanocells. So either way she dies. Okay. Amy, we're gonna have to go for the option where we retain our asset. Natalie, I can't just- I'll get back to you. End call. What should we do, Doctor? Set up for a full blood diagnostic. There has to be a way to get the nanocells out of her safely. Dr. Wakefield, please replace her IV. I can't risk any outside contamination. Sure thing. Dr. Tennant. Need to replace this, okay? Don't bite me. Whoa! <laughs> Shit, sorry. A little rusty, you know what I mean? And don't. Don't go anywhere. this crate? Oh, it was here we arrived this morning. Well, it's in the way. It needs to be moved. Dr. Malkin, can you move this crate for me, please? Sure. Thank you. Dr. North! Dr. North! I'm sorry, my shoulder's playing up. Do you mind? Cheers. Oh my god! Oh! Dr. North? <gasps> it's not personal. Okay. 
Ah, 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 Claire, all right? I'm currently the safest person in this room. Good enough for me. Why are we in lockdown mode? It's detecting the poison from the acid bomb. It won't be in the air for much longer. Thanks for that. Call Natalie Kensington. <phone rings> Emily, where's Natalie? There's been an incident in the lab. Yeah, I can see that and the biosecurity's kicked in. I need Natalie on the line right now. I don't care who she's with. Yeah, okay, she's in her office. I'll call you right back. And call. Okay. First things first, let's get this cleaned up. Okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Oh. We'll be back in a minute, Claire. Don't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. What the f no for steak yet. Yeah. Well, that needs to come out one way or another. Kensington could have at least left us some of her expensive whiskey. Mm -hmm. Ah! Alright, this is gonna stink. Mm -hmm. Ah! What the fuck? Ah! Oh! 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 Cold. Oh! Mmm! Mmm! Clean this wound. No, 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 it'll be fine. We've got bigger fish to fry. <sighs> Did you hear that? Yeah, what was that? Wait here, I'm gonna go see if there's something in the intensive lab. No, Amy, it's fine. Look, we need to figure out what the fuck is going on. I'm quiet over here. Your nano cells don't like my chat either. Well, I did more than in my image. Mm, that makes sense. Bunch of mini controlling bitches inside me. Look, I'm gonna do everything I can to help you. I've dealt with worse odds before. Really? Really. You need to comply though. Whatever it is that's going on, if you know anything, please tell me. Maybe. I can work with maybe. Hold strong. Coming from beyond the walls. 
Is there any security cameras we can check? On the computer, but I don't know how my assistants did that. All right, would you mind? Thank you. Right, got it. These are the security cameras in the void. In masks? What's the rumbling though? Sound doesn't travel in a vacuum. Shit, they've deactivated the vacuum. No prizes for guessing who the brains of this operation is. God bless our security walls, eh? This is impossible. They would need unprecedented access to our security systems to be doing this. They're her dumb cavalry. But they're Kandarian too. I knew you were part of something bigger. We put all together because they have the same features. Big eyes and big lips too. The divisions in my country are complex. Those bunch are not from my team. And now they're fucking with us. Answer call. Amy, what's going on down there? You've been infiltrated, Kensington. Dr. Malkin was a plant. Thanks to him, Dr. North is dead, and so are my dreams of becoming a professional footballer. But you killed Malkin. Yeah, how do you know that? Emily checked security footage from the lab. I mean, does privacy even exist around the house? There are three mass intruders in the void, and they're armed. They've deactivated the vacuum and bypassed the security wall. I'm still alive. Make sure she knows that. Biosecurity is still enabled, so you are safe no matter what. Well, unless they open the door with that magic laptop. I'll get onto this intruder situation. Oh, well, not that I'm not grateful, but why is lockdown mode still active? The poison from the acid bomb has dissipated and the bioprotector is containing Claire's infection. It must be detecting something else. The safety of London is paramount. We can't risk a bug getting into the city. Amy, you need to extract Claire's blood, especially if the intruders have come for her. The nanocells cannot fall into the wrong hands. Well, there's uh, an easy way to prevent that. We smoke Claire. No! End call. Wow. Still can't keep your cool under pressure. She's responsible for this. That makes no sense. We're her only hope at retrieving the nanocells. Yeah, she's going to let us extract the nanocells and then kill us by gunfire. Wow. Bleak much? All right, look, Parker Kaplani designed this lab, right? Do you think he built an escape route, a back door, anything? I don't know, we'd have to ask him ourselves. yoo What now, Claire? Can you move the dead people? Now that she mentions it. Yeah. How about this one? Enough with the Natalie theories. Remember those new skills I was telling you about? Well, advanced computing is one of them. Programming, coding. Hacking. I prefer the term unsolicited browsing. Yeah, no, sorry. Hacking is better. Look, I know you two are besties, but I find that a bit... Yeah. Let's access her camera. Give her a little listen. This is how scientists get killed, you know. Where did you learn to do this? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. You ready? Wait, we shouldn't... Look, if she's got nothing to hide, what's the issue? Bring this together. We need to cooperate if we're going to survive. Go ahead. The three intruders in the void have managed to lock every lift and door giving us access down there. Whatever they've done is caused electrical blips throughout the entire building. There are questions. Have the security idiots announced an upgrade gone awry? 
No one can think this Claire situation is any more serious than it already is. This seems planned, Natalie. There must be more traitors in our midst. Emily, please. Two people are trapped in that lab with our prized asset. They are our priority. Announce the security upgrade. I clear the airways in case she calls. Who could the traders be working for? Let's ask the original. Claire. Amy. What do you and your friends want? I'm not an espionage mastermind. They aren't with me. So how did all the nanocells end up inside you? Isn't that totally obvious? You should listen to Professor Xavier over there. About what? Kensington. So she put them in you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not me. Thank you. Seriously. How long have you been at the complex? A year. We've always had passing conversations on higher floors, but I don't think you remember. I always wanted to work in this lab with you. Well, here we are. Claire, come on. Just tell me what's happening so that I can help you. Oh, I got them all. Mina. Who's Mina? Claire. She's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ready for more cryptic bullshit? Answer call. Guys, you were right about the intruders. They've sabotaged the system and have electronically barricaded themselves in the void. Yeah, tell us something we don't know, please. How are they bypassing your security system so easily? Kensington Corporation stock plummets amidst TV the link to- off. Rescue plans are being made. Well, have you contacted Parker Kaplani? He designed the lab. He'll know how to get us out of here. We've been trying, but he could be anywhere on the planet right now. Parker has no compunctions about who he builds labs for, as long as it pays, quote, Excuse me. Emily, wait. Please. Give us something. Help us. Dr. Malkin, the three intruders in the void, Claire, they all infiltrated the complex expertly. What, another country in the space race, or? Possibly. Well, they might be trying to steal the nanocells or destroy them. I'm going to move heaven and earth to try and get hold of Parker. Thank you, Emily. End call. Whatever they're doing up there, we need to come up with some ideas of our own. Is there anything else you can do with the computer system? I can hack the communication lines, get in touch with Parker Kaplan and myself. Okay, awesome. You do that. I'm going to look for a way out of here. <coughs> Are you okay? Ooh, the air is getting stale down here. No, that's impossible. Even in lockdown mode, there's always a steady supply of oxygen. Lost something? Welcome back, Sleeping Beauty. I need something to get me past that vent cover.
wished I was taller. Cute, marching wounds. I mean, mine is, mine is slightly more impressive. Mine put both of yours to shame. I hate her. <laughs> What's this deal? There's only one wall left between them and the lab door. Please tell me you got hold of Parker. Negative. Uh, I got hold of the CCTV footage from the past 24 hours. Okay. Sift through it, see if there's anything helpful. Roger that. Fucking sneaky bastard. Access to the lab? Is that your master batch? How did she get that level of clearance on her ID card? Wait, well, were you, you injected yourself? Why didn't the lab shut down? The nanocells need time to diffuse in the bloodstream. I was able to get out of the complex before feeling the effects. What the fuck is she doing in the storeroom? I destroyed all the duplicate nanocells too. What? I didn't authorize any duplicates to be made. So you were just stealing the master batch for employers to replicate? Who? Who was it? Was it the Russians? No, I was heading to MI6. Oh, fucking impeccable timing as always. MI6? Why were you taking them there, Claire? Answer go! Parker. We got a hold of Parker. Half true. I was already en route. I get alerted every time shit hits the fan in one of my labs. We also have the identities of the three intruders. Sending them through. These guys? They're from last year's batch of Kindarian interns. Sleepers, like Malkin. Yeah, 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 guys, 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 there's one security wall between them and us. What have you got? What are our best options, Parker? I need 10 more minutes to study these blueprints. That lab was built to contain world-altering alchemy. So excuse me if back doors weren't part of my thinking. Amy. End call. Reese. What? You want to listen to a fucking bullshit about nanocells again? We've got 10 minutes to think without all that shit. Look, I didn't want to hand this over. It's not meant for you, but fuck it. You need to see the truth about Kensington and Kinder. What is it? Just watch. Careful, Amy. Always.
really scared. <laughs> Go on. Watch. Two files. Kensington and Picnic. Which one do you want to watch? If this gets out, we'll be answering to the UN. Kensington, Ma. What's the problem? We quashed uprising villages, and you got human trials to assess your technology. To burn one stone. Three whole villages. Your scientists need not know how the data was acquired. The supreme leader is a man of discretion. We trust you are the same. Most certainly. Make sure of it, or we will. Um, I think my mind's thinking the same thing as yours, so do you really want to watch the other video? Go ahead. Please. You sure? <laughs> look, look! You've forgotten the wine but remembered your phone. Typical. <sighs> Nina's mad at me these days. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I forgot the wine, okay? Yeah. Brought onion budgies, mm. egg mayo, <laughs> tomatoes, <laughs> clear. Takes too many selfies in London. Not that much. <laughs> look, I'm showing the surroundings. Look, look, look how pretty this grass is. Come on, let's, let's take a picture. Look at the camera. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> You see, the Kandarian government, Natalie Kensington, experimented with your own nanocells on my people, my village, my parents, my sister Mina. They were all killed for opposing the dictatorship. Natalie was making duplicates of the master badge behind my back. My tech killed people. And you were taking all the evidence for my six. In that USB and in your veins. Now the Supreme Leader has activated a sleeper cell in the complex to cover his tracks. Yeah, not to mention Natalie's. Why didn't you tell us this before? I didn't trust you. Reject call. Amy, we need to take a minute and think about this, okay? I'm fine, I promise. Hey, look, I know a rash decision when I see one. Are you not gonna expose Natalie? After what you've just seen? We need to deal with our current predicament. Plus, I, I really need the toilet again. Would you believe this isn't the weirdest place I've taken a ship? Do you need me to stay and help you? Ye no, no, you're fine, you're spared. I'll be sitting outside. Okay, okay. Hey, if we get out of here, will you quit like you said? Pass. I never thought I'd have to answer that question. Oh, you do the right thing, you always do. A habit I wish I had. Well, I might have rubbed off on you if you'd stuck around. Why'd you leave, Reese? 
the absurdity. Not knowing whether saving someone was the right thing to do, if it condemned them to a life of pain. It's too much for me. The coward isn't the man for you anyway. That wasn't your call to make. We were a team. Hindsight's a bitch, eh? Heard of Mr. Crack in Fortnite in Eritrea. Where can I sign up for this war torn world tour you guys were on? Enough with the wise cracks, Claire. I'm not in the mood. I know how you feel, Amy. You lost people that you love. My feelings are trivial compared to yours. The sense of betrayal, I mean. Come on, give us a break. I meant Natalie. It was a dream come true, getting an internship here. A village girl from Kindar, coming to London to work, to live. Funny story, <laughs> on my first day here, I was super late because I thought there was a station in the complex. Turns out I was looking at the tourist tube map with disused and unfinished stations. Yeah, that's right, the um, half-built station under the complex. Tabitha Greens. We're so far underground, we must be right on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Claire. Thank you. Anytime. What did I say? We can't go across the void. We tried going up into the vents, but we haven't tried going down. To Tabitha Green's. You need an access point. We might have one. Reese is sitting on it. What do you have to know? I need something that will remove the entire toilet quickly. You're gonna have to get your hands dirty. Not necessarily. We're at the lowest point of the complex, so Tabitha Greens must be right below us. Yeah, okay, Amy, but there's a toilet in the way. Not for long. Potassium. Amy. My favorite ever chemistry lesson was when the teacher put a small piece of potassium in water. I always wanted to see what a full block would do. <laughs> oh, you are positively insane. <laughs> so now the big question, how far below us is Tabitha Greens? Looks deep. Shoot 
slip their way in. Their bullets won't dent these doors. They were built to withstand much more than that. The Void's last resort defense mechanism is the kicker. When it detects a rogue pathogen, it generates a white heat flash to eliminate the threat. <coughs> She's already hardwired into the system. We are fucking fucked. That's and all. Hall. Guys, the intruders are almost in and we know why they're here. Parker, what options have we got? Enough! While Parker was accessing the lab security mainframe for bypasses, we saw records of who gained entry in the last 24 hours. Claire entered using someone else's ID credentials. Yours, Amy. That's impossible. I've got my ID card right here. Amy didn't help me. I snuck into her office and I copied her credentials off a computer. You're the liar, Natalie. You don't have a voice here, Claire. But we know about Kinder. Reese. We have proof. Lots. Nonsense. Look, the intruders are Natalie and Kindar's way of making sure that we die with their dirty little secret. We know that you hack your own security, Natalie. That's ridiculous. Yeah, your cyber security sucks. Even resecting easily. Reese has been hacking the system. He isn't an employee here, is he? What's your story, buddy? He spent the last few years bouncing between pharma companies around the world. A mercenary. Whose side are you on, Wakefield? You know what? Fuck this. Everyone, calm down. All I know is that if they get in, the nanocells are gone forever. Natalie, please. Look, we aren't traitors. Help us. Stall them. Do something. Amelia, regardless of what we think of each other right now, you're one of my closest friends. Parker? So we're trusting these guys now? Yes, we are. Can the Void jam electronics? Negative. Could you reinitialize the vacuum? Two of them aren't wearing helmets. I can't. They've locked us out. Reese could. His computer down there is hardwired into the system. All right. Okay, talk me through it as fast as you can. <laughs> Help me! Help! What's going on, Claire? Something wrong. My heart. <laughs> You're going to wear a mask. No. I trust you. Still unlocking the door, one down two to go. Come on. So okay, you bastards.
call Natalie Kensington. You okay? Answer call. Oh, thank God. We saw the lab door didn't open. Good work, Wakefield. Appreciate the guidance, Parker. Thanks for the lead, Natalie. There's still an armed intruder out there. Parker, what else do you have for us? I could go for Natty's internet. Unplug the lab, plug it back in. That will kill lockdown mode and the vacuum for 60 seconds. You guys can then escape before everything initializes. Emily has a security team poised to handle the last intruder. No, it's a shit plan. He's standing right outside the door. A fucking security team of sprinters wouldn't make it down before he wastes us. He's right, Parker. It's a calculated risk worth taking. Okay, well, when could you do this? Whenever you're... When you get Claire's blood. What the fuck, Natalie? Yes, I know it will kill her, but she's gonna die anyway. She'd be sacrificing herself to save millions. Think, Amy. We can't start over again. This has been our lives for the past four years. We're not the only country trying for nano cells. I'm not a murderer. You're a monster, Kensington. Just take the blood, Amy. Time is running out. Deal or no deal? 